Hi guys, and this is another video in the series of um, uh, sensory integration. And in the last couple of videos I went through some of how I've been dealing with it. Um, you know, what my thoughts are. In this video, I want, in just briefly, I want to uh, go through, you know, what does really work. Um, uh, you know, what actually makes a difference. And, and I mean this in a kind of psychological sense, you know, how, how to really get to a stage where, you, you know, you're happy with how stuff is happening. So I find a lot of it comes down to having uh, the ability to verbally express yourself um, without, you know, problems, um, shame or, or guilt. So... Uh, b a brief pause, but anyway, so the, th the kind of the line of thinking is that if you have sensory issues, you, you have to be honest so uh, with, with others and yourself. So uh, one of the important steps is kind of making fun of yourself, you, you know, showing that, you know, you're aware of what was happening and you're able to, you know, throw a joke makes a big difference. Um, so... You know, if, if you make a kind of a wrong booking in a calendar or uh, send out a document or uh, presentable in, in, a, in a wrong format, then just, uh, you know, being, tossing a joke uh, uh, on, on that topic makes makes a, a, a measurable difference. Um, yeah, so so that, that's one. The other thing is also just, you know, be, being... Uh, you know, almost it's it's about having that kind of uh, ability to show your alternative strengths. So, if you're not that strong at uh, you know solving stuff quickly, kind kind of common stuff quickly, then you know how can you make up for that? And just keeping your mind busy thinking along those lines. So, for instance, uh, I found that for myself, it's sometimes. Uh, about having the kind of abstract thinking and, and using that as a strength instead. So ab abstract thinking it is kind of the opposite uh, to the sensory integration-driven thinking. So it's not about solving the immediate issues you're dealing with, but more about uh, so solving, you know, issues that are not really related to sensory information. So, you know, just getting yourself into situations where um, you don't need to, uh, you know, re read a ton, no, don't need to uh, uh, study a, a ton or, or interact a ton of with a ton of stuff physically, but but you, you can instead kind of make conclusions of, of what you have read, have studied, and, and add value in this way. So that makes a big difference, and this is something that you know, can actually make people wow. It's because it's a type of skill a lot of people don't have um, uh, in-depth, uh, you know, abilities on and, and can, can really make up for stuff. You know, for people who don't really have a kind of uh, sensory, uh, you know, or don't have a kind of abstract reasoning ability highly developed... Uh, they, 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 to them it can almost look like magic you know how did you come up with this or, or come up with that but in reality that's that's the trade off right so in any case uh, my, my point is you know finding that ability which complements uh, having sensory integration issues and then using that ability so it, can, it might not be super straightforward and I mean I'm in my mid-twenties and only now kind of starting to understand what some of these strengths can be uh, to make up for, you know, sensory integration uh, problems. But, but, you know, learning about that and then making the leap of starting to move uh, towards having strengths in, in those areas as well, that's a huge thing. So, yeah, uh, again, it's, uh, you know, it, it's not easy and... And, and having uh, kind of external support is in some ways even more important than than kind of being super hard working or super 
focused about it. If if you if you have a kind of positive attitude from others, you know that that's a positive impact right there. Uh, so that, that that's my couple of thoughts on you know how <clears throat> to deal with with this this stuff. Anyway, so yeah, hope that makes sense. Uh, please leave any comments in the uh, section below. Thanks.